everyone, it is Amelia. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am a full-time reseller on eBay at Poshmark and Macari. I sell hard goods and clothing. And today I am doing the Thrift 30 Challenge. Sarah from Socially Awkward Seller asked if I wanted to do it. Of course I said yes. Um, and I will link her video down below that she did. So, um, sorry, my dog's right here. So what it is, is you go to the thrift store and you spend $30 and in 30 days you see how much you can sell. <clears throat> and then you report back, basically. Um, I did have to change it just a little bit because my thrift stores are pretty small and it's hard for me to spend $30 at one thrift store. So I had to go to a couple. But other than that, we're good to go. So, <clears throat> let's just get started. So the first thing I have is this Tommy Hilfiger little pouch. It does need wash. I'm going to wash it. There's just these spots on it. I'm going to get this one out of the way. This is a huge chicken. He is awesome. I think I paid $2.50 for him. Kind of more than I usually pay for plush, but I loved him. So I'm like, I'm going to get him. This. <clears throat> Somebody must have paid for something. This is a Texas Instruments Beacon Spell. I paid a dollar for this, and it does work. I did turn it on. So it works. And I really haven't comped anything, guys. I'm just showing you what I got. <coughs> I got three can openers. I usually sell these for about $9.99. I get them with an advertisement. These are corals and they're 50 cents each. One's a bottle opener. One can opener. This is tape shit still. Anyway, I'll just it open. I do pretty good with belt racks and things. So this is a Thai belt rack combo. It's a duck. Pretty good shape. This is a Unisonic calculator. Vintage. I haven't tested it yet. But it looks like it's in good shape. It doesn't even look like it's really been used. Does it still have like the little battery paper in the back? It might have been used, but in good shape, so I bet it works. I got some Singer templates. These are for buttonholes, first, and I have sold just the templates itself. However, when I was looking at it, it has the wrong measurement templates inside. So I'll just have to put that in the listing and put the correct measurements for them inside and what it says on the package. So that was kind of a fail for me. We have a pound, what are these called? Purries. And I actually just sold one of these yesterday. So hopefully this one will go. Because the one I sold, I had that one for a while though. So. But the one I sold was like, five times smaller than this. It was like this big. So, yeah, it's like a tabby. <clears throat> and then I got a Beanie Baby, which I usually don't pick up a lot of Beanie Babies, but this is Legs, and he's one of the original Beanie Babies. So I pick him up, them up when I see them. They don't go for a whole lot, like $9.99 probably, but he was 25 cents. Thank <laughs> you. 
So I did get a few pieces of clothing. I don't know if we were supposed to do only hard goods, but I did do some clothing. They were a dollar each. <clears throat> and if you guys don't know, I recently moved, so I'm looking for new like thrift stores and stuff. So I think I found a good one, and that's where I got these. Uh, so this is a J. Crew skirt. I do have more hard goods. I just haven't got there yet. This is just, oh, that's actually for me. This is not for me, so. so. Whoops, so it was supposed to be here. Um, This is a RR Dakota, but it was like a wool nylon blend, like tunic length shirt. It felt really well made. I got this because of the pattern was cute. It has glosses all over it. It is a Talbot. Nantucket. It has a size the same. Probably why it was a dollar. The last clothing item I got was a Ann Taylor loft dress. Black. Good condition. Size 8T. Okay. Here. <clears throat> so I got these pantyhose. This is soft dimension. Now these pantyhose are good pantyhose to get. Um, they're worth a little bit more money, not like a huge amount, but these soft dimensions, Silky's Ultra, are good, especially if they say made in Japan right there. So, if you see these, and they're really cheap, these are 25 cents, I would pick them up because they sell pretty well for me. I don't know why, I don't know what's special about them, but people like these. These are some dark green, um, just opaque silkies. I didn't know they were dark green. I probably wouldn't pick them up. I usually don't get, like, dark green or red, you know, like, um, usually you stick with like tans and browns and beige and stuff, but they'll probably still sell. Very fine fix them. I got these really cool vintage cookie cutters. They're a whole set. The six and the nine are the same one. It even says that on the box. So it's not missing one. Um, they're by Fox Run from 1984. Okay, so I did get some Tupperware lids. I actually sell Tupperware lids. Okay, like not super rave, like maybe once or twice a month. So I picked them up when they're cheap. They're 25 cents each. And I got the blue one. This is a newer style. <coughs> Same size, older style, and then I got four of these, which will be easy to list. However, they are different model numbers, if that matters. So they're the same lid, same size. So I got two coffee cups. This is Starbucks. I got it because of the pattern on it. I thought the houndstooth pattern would do okay. Um, which is a 10 ounce coffee cup. Then I got this vintage Nestle. And it says rich in creamy hot cocoa. I thought the graphics was cool. It is made in Japan. And I just thought it was a nice little cup. Oh, I almost forgot this stuff. So I did, I'm doing something a little different. Like, I haven't really picked these up a whole lot in the past, so I'm going to try to give them a try. They are kids' decor pieces. These are some clowns. 
We got the boy and the tank girl, or the cowboy and the regular clown, I don't know. And they're fir wood, and I just thought I'd try those out. And then I also got, along the same lines, these sports women, they're girl sport wall hangings, and they're also by Burwood, and they're in pretty good shape, they're really cool, they're vintage, they are vintage, but, so I got those, I am missing a bag of stuff, I just realized that, hmm, where's the other bag of stuff Well, fooey. Okay, <clears throat> so here is the shoes I got. These are Dansko High Heels, and they are in really good shape. I paid two fifty for them, and they're brown. I don't know what size they are. A thirty-nine, so that's like an eight to eight and a half. <clears throat> the next thing I got was a server. I only spent 50 cents for this. I will probably, it's like a cheese server. Probably throw this in a box. So this probably not going to be part of the, like, listing part of the challenge. Because I only have this one piece until I find, I find the stainless Japan stuff pretty regularly. So I'll just wait until I find some more of it. And let me see if I can find my other bag of stuff real quick. I thought I found all in here. Maybe I can... Don't fall over. I'm just missing one thing. That's why I thought I was missing more. Okay. <clears throat> so. I got this little cute cherry plate. And I'm not sure what it's used for. Might just be decor, but it's really pretty. And it's ceramic cherries, and it says made in Portugal. It has like a basket weave design on it. That's the last piece I got. Um, I believe, unless I'm missing a bag silver, but I think that's everything. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will do an update in 30 days to see how much of the stuff I sold. I hope you guys have a great day, and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit the red button down below.